Hi guys, my name is Jagruti. Welcome to my channel. Coming right away to the topic of today's video, I'm going to tell you beginner friendly contouring technique. So if you're ready, let's begin. First, I'm going to wipe off my full face except my eyes because I already did my eye makeup as I shot another video. For wiping off my face, I'm going to use these makeup remover wipes from Elme. And once I'm done removing makeup from my face, although I did not have much, I will start setting a base for my contouring. And for that, I'm going to use this Color Bar Flawless Finish Primer and I'm going to prime my face. To moisturize my lips, I'm using Burt Bees Lip Shine Lip Balm and I'll moisturize my lips. Moving further, I'm going to use this Milani Conceal Plus Perfect 3-in-1 Foundation Plus Concealer in the shade OOAA Ivory and I'm going to dot it all over my face and blend all of it using a damp sponge. Once done, I'm going to add dimensions to my face and what is the meaning of it. Let me tell you, while providing dimensions to your face, you are creating shadows on your face to bring your features forward and enhance them and create depth in your face. So beginning with contouring, I'm first going to put my mirror right in front of me and looking straight into the mirror. I'm going to figure out where I have shadows on my face. These are usually in the hollows of your face like the cheekbone, forehead, jawline, around your nose. These shadows look brownish or grayish depending on your skin type and the structure of your face. And to enhance my shadows, I'm going to use one contour pencil from Nykaa and the bronzer palette from Sugar Cosmetics. I'm going to use both cream and powder contour in this video today. I'm going to use the Nykaa pencil first to go over those shadows casted on my face. Starting with my forehead, you don't have to worry about blending yet. At this moment, we have to focus on identifying the shadows on your face. I'll use this pencil on my forehead, cheeks, jawline and nose. And I'm going to use a brush to blend it out. I'm going to use a brush to perfectly blend it out so that it doesn't look like I have too much makeup. And for my nose, I'm going to use a small brush of course, I'm going along the shadows casted on my face. Now I'm going to use this bronzer palette from Sugar and define the shadows more precisely. What the powder does is it packs or seals the cream contour giving more dimensions to your face. And it's time to bring some of the features forward. So we'll be using a lighter shade over your high points for which I'm using this translucent powder from Sugar and I'm going to apply it with a powder puff on the higher points like my nose, my forehead, my cheekbone, my jawline. Remember, deeper shade always push your features back while lighter shades brings them forward. Next to highlight my nose, I'm using a lighter shade concealer and I'll apply it and blend nicely. I'll use a damp sponge to blend it all. Next, I'm going to be using this Swiss Beauty 2-in-1 palette, this 
comes with the shimmer as well as the blush. So I'll use a brush and I'll apply it on my cheek. So using this 2-in-1 palette, you can apply blush as well as you can highlight your face like I'm doing in this video. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a clean brush and remove all of the excess translucent powder we applied. To finish up the makeup, I'm going to use a lip liner and line my lips and I'll apply a nude shade and this nude shade is from Maybelline. These days I'm loving nude lipsticks a lot. In fact, I just use the lip liners and that's it. I blend it and then apply a lip filler or something. And this is how I do my everyday contouring. Let's look at the before. Like in the before, we can see the dimensions and shadows. But now let's look at the after. Look how subtly it has enhanced everything. It looks so delicate and sweet. So this is it for the video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video, do not forget to hit that fat like button. And also if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please take a moment to subscribe. And I'll see you super soon with a brand new one. Stay tuned. Bye guys.